What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be my spoiler free review for Stranger Things 4 Volume 1. Stranger Things Season 4 Volume 1 I meant to say. And this season is definitely the darkest of the series so far. Definitely the most gruesome. Definitely the most matured. Most sinister. Most unnerving. Most terrifying. I would say most memorable also just because of the fact that they are going off of the Nightmare on Elm Street formula. That was a great inspiration to everything and how it unfolds in this season. So I like how they dragged that out and made, made basically made a Nightmare on Elm Street movie episodically. I liked that. It was a great approach. So it juggles so much between the Hawking shenanigans that you came for, the Russia activities, and then the buyer's life since we know they all moved with L to California. There's also this feeling of being in a different show, though, when it do comes to Jim Hopper seasons, which made me want to see less of that. But even when they are happening, it's very action packed. And I did just want to see more of the teens, though, because it felt like when we went to Russia, OK, we're not even in we're not even watching Stranger Things anymore. But it wasn't it wasn't bad as much as it was. OK, I want to see less of that and more of the teens. But however, I do love Hopper's character and I do want to see him get home, of course. And he has a great arc in this season. Uh, David Harbour is, again, doing his best job as this character. The set pieces in this season, I would say, are incredible, especially with what's accomplished in the finale. And then more specifically, that that fourth episode with Max's arc, uh, Dear Billy. It's so beautiful. It's it's going to touch a lot of your hearts. Her whole arc, I think, this season will touch on a lot of people's hearts. And it builds to this highly tense moment where she realizes that she doesn't have to be shut off and struggle alone. I know I've seen some reaction videos already to people watching it. And it really just, just hit you in the feels because you, you're getting a look at how far these people have come. And you're faced with this realization that anything can happen to any of these characters at any point in time because the end is near and i feel like that moment that moment with max really just highlighted it all so well and of course the music with kate bush running up that hill all the scenery everything the set piece sadie sink just going hitting it on all cylinders it was a great episode probably my favorite from the season and i see what everyone was talking about now so we know she's in pain, but she, she, she doesn't have to let, but she won't let anyone in. That's like her biggest struggle this season for Max. Will Byers is in a position where I'm like, okay, can we pull the trigger on this already? Because it's been hinted at for a while. So I like the approach that they're going with now, given the time period, but Will needs to have his moment soon. I think that they're going to give it to him eventually. At this point, it's just more of him struggling, I guess. The CGI, I would say, is not always the best. The worst I can think of is in regards to a bunny featured in a flashback sequence but that's not a major setback for the season at all whatsoever i can say that you may find these episodes or season in general to be a little bit bloated because i did i think it's going to be more of a thing where when you watch this series back the season is going to age well but the run times are going to be the thing that get tiresome i can see that just being a tiresome aspect as this series goes on as we go back and rewatch this fantastic series in the future so we know why they took that approach given how long we've been without the characters but but still, I, I can tell that when you go back and rewatch this show, for a lot of people having the access to season four now, you're going to feel those run times more. You're gonna be you're gonna be stuck with season four a lot longer than you were with the previous seasons. There's nothing wrong with it because again, they give you these likable characters, they give you these compelling arcs. Everything is still very entertaining, but it's just like God, it's it's so long. <laughs> but none of them they i will say this they're not wasting their runtime everything i feel that happens in this in this season minus a few things that okay i'm like you didn't have to have that there a large chunk of it is everything that's needed to move the needle forward and push everything involved with our characters and their arcs forward and helping us get ready for the end that we know is coming so again the nightmare on elm street formula is used so well that i think the duffers are the ones that need to bring freddy cougar back and i would love to see them do that so vecna is a terrifying presence with a fantastic design and it does indeed share a connection with victor krill like i had mentioned in or i theorized about in my other video and 11 so seeing how divided everyone is this season truly highlights how much older they are because this is what happens as you grow older in her high school then of course inevitable adulthood 11's arc is also very cool once the finale came around i was like okay i'm 
I'm I think I'm seeing some Harry Potter inspiration here and I and I like where this could go for a potential season five showdown that could be just magical. And if they save it for the series finale, I feel like what you see in the finale of this season is like, OK, this is just a taste of. It, and it's not even the finale this is only volume one episode seven of what you see at the end of that i feel like it's setting a stage for something even bigger coming for a series finale so again sadie thinks she's certainly going to be the talk she's certainly t getting talked about for all the right reasons because she's hitting it on all cylinders when the season focuses on her and her inner struggles it's just very compelling it hits you in your feels because you they've done a great job writing these characters so you feel their pain Vecna's identity and backstory went as I expected, but there let me explain myself seeing that drag on more than I thought was necessary. Brenner's return was also nice. Millie Bobby Brown's performance as Eleven was still amazing. The season just does a tremendous job highlighting how the end is near, and I know many of you are ready for it because I'm right there with you. Even though we know that the end is near, we just want to also have it because we know it's going to be epic, and then we'll worry about that harsh goodbye we all have to face with these characters and with the hawkins universe after we get season five because season five for so far what i'm seeing with season four i i i know they're going to outdo themselves something is telling me okay you're going to go for broke with season five i think season five's finale has a chance of being one of my favorite series finales right up there with a buff with the buffy finale for those of you who know i'm a big fan of buffy just the way everything's being handled so far with season four i think they have a good chance of topping that if not being right there with it in terms of quality so this is definitely the most gruesome again mature season yet with a lot of good scares and emotional moments that remind you of how well written these characters have been and continue to be i can't wait to see volume two can't wait to see these last two episodes eight and nine which are basically like full-length movies at this point i would say uh and again everything so far between the set pieces the well-written characters the compelling arcs the emotions the high stakes the juggling of all these different storylines that still work so well and come together so cohesively by the end of it uh the cgi again wasn't that great always but the effects for the most part are brilliant breathtaking visuals the upside down just still just as terrifying as mesmerizing still with how gorgeous it looks and what they can create on screen with this massive budget we know went into it all in all a very good season so far eight out of ten for me if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, you haven't missed a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.